Hey y'all, sorry I look ridiculous. Um, this is kind of a spur of the moment video. Everybody, I just went live on Instagram and everybody wanted me to do a real unboxing for the channel. So you're gonna have to get an iPhone video because my camera batteries are dead. Um, so we're just gonna get started. Plano sent me an awesome care package. Um, I pretty much owe my life to Plano. These are some of the nicest people that I have ever met in my life. And um, I hope I can benefit their company as much as they have given me happiness with all this really cool stuff. Um, so let's just get started. First of all, I got a 3600 standard box. I got one of those, I already have another one, um, which is perfect because this bag I'll show y'all in a second holds two, well, it can hold three, but I'm only gonna put two in it. Front pocket's gonna be for tools, um, so. Next up, I got two jig boxes. Um, kind of self-explanatory. Put jigs in these. Or um, spin rates or something like that. Any kind of bladed bait. You can put jigs, chatter baits. Um, you can take some of these little yellow things out and actually hang spinner baits or buzz baits on these. So there's those. Then I got two of the 37 thin boxes. So they're half, they're half the size of the 37 standards. There's the thin boxes. Y'all, that wind is kicking. I had to pull the truck in the garage for this video. Um, next, we got a 3700 standard box. This is just your standard size box right here these are all the edge series by the way and the last one of the boxes i got is a 3700 deep this is a great box if you just want to carry one box with a crap ton of stuff in it <laughs> so there's this box you can carry big swim baits in it you see how deep it is i don't know why the light's not doing right you see how deep it is so there's that then they sent me two it's two different ones, but they're the same thing. This is a spinnerbait slash buzzbait organizer. It's the little files. I like these things. This thing right here is really sturdy. These, compared to the other ones that I have, seem to be of much higher quality. Not that the other ones were bad. Um, these just kind of like are beefier. Um, you know, if you're rough with your stuff, it'd be really good for it. Um, the next one is a worm divider. So this one's a little bit thinner. This one holds your, it's all plastic. Um, it's called a worm wrap. These are all the guide series, by the way. And I got a new guide series bag. Y'all know that the guide series had the um, plastic compartments on top that opened up, or you could put a little box on top and it bungeed, bungeed over the top. This is a completely new, box for Plano for 2020. Um, they are just now getting to Academy and I'm really excited for this. So this turn, this can either be worn on a strap like this, or it has um, straps that you can attach for a backpack. So over the shoulder bag or a backpack, which I thought was really cool. You could decide which one you wanted to use. So here it is. If I can get back for them. This is the Plano Guide Series 3700 XL. So this is the biggest one. It features a nice rugged bottom with grippers. These are anti-slide grips. Has three compartments on the side. One, two, and three. Um, they, they can hold a 3600 size box has a place for a water bottle or travel rods. It's got the little strap to hold on there. Um, the top right here is a magnetic drop zone. You can put um, hooks, pliers, um, crankbaits, whatever you may seem fit. Woo! This zipper right here unzips and it releases the backpack straps. I'll show you all the inside of it. It's really open inside. This is the inside, really nice and sturdy. It comes with seven 3700s 
and three 36 hundreds. I've already taken them out to prepare to put my edge boxes in here. Um, they come with the standard boxes, which is fine if you're getting into fishing, but if you have a lot of expensive tackle like I do, you may want to fork out the extra 10 or so dollars for the edge series. It's really worth your investment if you're in this for the long run like I am. Um, that's the inside. Let me show y'all real quick. It has handles on the sides, both sides. So you can pick it up however you want to. Pick it up like this. Um, you can wear it over your shoulder. You can see how big it is, huh? I'm 5'4". You can, you can, y'all can't sit on the ground, but anyway. Um, it's a really big bag, so. Another cool feature, the pockets on the sides don't really have any kind of features other than it's just a pocket. Um, this one has a waterproof phone holder on the inside. You can put your phone in. And it's got, I don't know if I can see that, a little zipper compartment and a little um, fishing rocket holder. I'm going to put my tools on this um this front part and then the sides they just look like this is what they look like they don't have any zippers or anything it does have a little pocket on each side you could put plastics or whatever you wanted to add it on both sides it doesn't have it on the front but um you could put little tools in these attachments and that's pretty much it for this bag. Um, let's see if it says anything else that I didn't do. Nope, I went over everything that it said. So it is a 10 stowaway capacity. Like I said, comes with seven 3700s and three 3600s. Um, those are the cheaper boxes. I suggest spending the extra money on the edge boxes. Only thing I wish they had an option to not get the tackle boxes because a lot of people already have a ton of the tackle boxes. So when you get the other ones, you just don't really use them. <laughs> I'm going to donate them to kids in need around the county um, that I see fit. I'll put some tackle in them and give them to a child and, you know, to get them to go fishing around the county. Um, that way I can give back instead of them just sitting around. So. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing and I will see y'all on the next one.